I'm a computer systems technician. Is that right? So I do the network and any kind of computer problems they have. That's good. I'll do whatever they, whatever they need done, basically. Give me, yeah, well, give me three minutes with this guy. Just for be all, be all done in one second. <laughs> just, uh, listen, we're going to remove that frog out of your throat, but that's okay. We're going to speak <laughs> English. I, I can't say tree. One, two, three. Can you say tree? Three. <laughs> three. Yeah. What, can you pronounce the age? One, two, three. One, two, three. No, no, I can't three. do it either. Tree, I tree, can pull tree. Out my, okay. my denture if okay, you want. Here's, that's better. <laughs> here's, here's the comedy part. Now, okay, let's talk about the, what happened. Explain what happened in Quebec over the weekend, the derailment. Well, there's a train <coughs> of uh, crude oil coming from North Dakota who was uh, stopped 10 kilometers before a city called Lac Mégantic because the train driver, engineer, was tired. So while he was sleeping, his train uh, brake uh, burned, burned. The fireman came, they closed the fire, they finished the fire. But then, when they were back home, the train started to go slowly to the city, like Megantic. And it was like a, a loose train without a driver. And it ended up in Lac Megantic. And, a and you compare it as, uh, as big as Woodstock? Woodstock, was it? Well, it was a 70 uh, wagon full of crude oil, over a hundred... 70 tons. wagons? 70 wagons. Wow. And it ended up 10 kilometers at 100 kilometers per hour in a village of 6,000 people. 6,000? 6, and 1,000 people had to be moved while the fire was... Uh, it was like a bomb arriving in a city like that. And as for now, they found five body, dead body. But they evaluate that over 40 person are missing after two days. So we may have over 50, 50 people died because of this train was going to, guess where? From North Dakota to St. John, New Brunswick, because this crude oil was for uh, Irving people to uh, proceed and fill up all your Irving sta gas station in the province. So you are very lucky that the people that the train was stopped in Quebec, it may have happened that in St. John where there's uh, more people living there. And explain about the consequences, the well, lake. Yes, it's this lake, Megantic, is at the... That uh, means Megantic, that means big lake? It's a big, very big lake. Have you and, seen it? And this is, yes, yeah, it's okay. the source of the river called Chaudière, a very important river going to Quebec City going through the region of Quebec called Le Beauce. So there's a uh, hundred village from that lake along the river to Quebec City, to the St. Lawrence River, that are now not able to drink the water. See, all this crude oil, all this uh, train full of crude oil is now in the lake and now in the river. So there's a lot of people right now in Quebec that cannot drink water. It's the same that can happen. When you dig for shale gas, you touch the source of water and if you put a hole there it, it may get mixed with the gas yes you get gas but you mix it with water and many people will not be able to drink clear water in New Brunswick if you continue to dig for so this disaster is going to affect more than that village that small oh, for village sure for sure it's I, I learned see with all my uh, phone intelligent phone I heard from ABC New York, based in New York, that was happening in my uh, backyard. So it's international uh, disaster now associated to crude oil uh, transport by train. It's not better by pipeline or by transportation, see? Our position, the Green Party in Quebec, my press release was saying stop all new development and until we get sure that all the highways or pipeline ways or um, waterways are secure. But there hasn't been a proper environment impact assessment. Irving just started to have these big wagons shipping in there. Uh, as been, like, we were talking safe. about Harvey and Harvey Station and then just going on and uh, suddenly these wagons would have been destroyed in the middle of, of New Brunswick and what we were predicting was going to happen here in New Brunswick happened in Quebec. Yes. And it could happen here, but Quebec sure. is more 
populated. Yeah, the same train that was uh, uh, bombed last two days could have been here in uh, New Brunswick. So uh, you're kind of lucky. Uh, nobody are. is lucky in that. But this crude oil from the States was for New Brunswick yeah. consumer. So realize that. We paid for that, but nobody should pay their life just to trans transport so if they oil. So if they say now we got to have pipelines, That's safer? That's better. No, no, no. How come? Because the example of Quebec, it was not built to move crude oil. It was move, built to, to transport gas. Imagine, instead of a gas, you put malas in oh, yeah, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crude oil is like menace. So it was made to uh, transport hair and now they want to put crude oil which is very thick just like molasses. See? So it's not strong enough. So instead of using that old pipeline o over 40 years old, you should build at least a new system with the new technology. The technology of 50 years ago well, is not the same that right now. So please, if you do build pipeline, use the technology. And the cheapest way to move to transport is always shipping things. So it's better sometimes to go on the water than to go on the soil. And you're a smart guy and I hope you see elected office one of these days. Merci beaucoup. See you sometimes when I be a member of parliament. Yeah,